I hope uh, uh, the uh, Japanese science community will uh, further be engaged in space uh, exploration and uh, we can accomplish a lot of scientific uh, activities. Uh, but more than that, I think uh, it would expand the possibility on orbit, especially for the Japanese community. So that, that is my hope. Aki, can, can, you, can you give us some, some insight into some of the skills and, and talents and, and intangibles mm -hmm. of your crewmates and um, tell us why that makes you confident this is going to be a successful mission? Well, um, it, it's a very good mix of crew, I think. Um, everyone's very professional, but at the same time, we, we try to enjoy the training and the mission itself. Um, uh, Commander uh, Mark Kelly, uh, he flew twice. Uh, this time it's uh, the first mission for him as a commander. And Mike Fossum flew once uh, with Mark Kelly, as a matter of fact. But uh, those two, uh, they've been providing us some insights of the real uh, space flight and what to be careful, um, where to focus, mm -hmm. and, and giving us uh, a lot of guidance. And uh, we all traveled to Japan for uh, our training in June last year, and we had a lot of fun and uh, good memories. Okay. <laughs> so become pretty close now. Yes. Then. Okay. Um, you, you've, you've had a chance in your travels and during training to, to see the support personnel at the different mm -hmm. space flight centers. Um, what impresses you about their work ethic? Very professional. And, uh, you know, they, they are very open. Whenever we have a question, they'll, you know, answer it. If they don't have an answer right there, they'll, they'll uh, get back to us, you know, in a couple of days. and provide us the answer and uh, I think you know everyone's very uh, how should I say um, very proud of the space program and it, it's the same in Japan as in the States I think everyone's very excited about the, uh, the space program and very happy and pleased and honored to work in it so okay no knowing the hard work that 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 everybody's put into this mm -hmm. this mission mm -hmm. um, what are your thoughts about, about being able to, to do this for them? I mean, it's, it's, it's going to be you and the crew up there right. actually doing this, but it's, it's really, yeah. mm -hmm. you're just, you're, you're the We're person. We're just, yes, um, uh, you're, you're uh, absolutely right that, uh, you know, it's a big team. You know, there are people who train us, people who actually uh, manufacture the module, the orbiter, um, doing work down at the Cape. Um, all the flight controllers here at uh, Johnson Space Center as well as in Scuba Space Center who's uh, working really hard, long hours, making sure that we have all the procedures and they're, you know, training, simming, just like we are. And we're, we're a part of the team and uh, we're really proud to be part of the team. Okay. Um, it, it could be said that, that the measure of, of fortitude is in how well we adapt to unforeseen situations mm -hmm. and surprises. Um, There's been, been a lot of opportunities for it, to do that uh, mm -hmm. with some things happening up on space station and, and, and whatnot. Um, how would you say that, that everybody's done in that endeavor and adapting to, and thinking of inventive ways mm -hmm. to get around things? Well, I think um, this will be a new experience for, for the Japanese uh, flight controller team. But uh, I think uh, in any case, um, in the past, we've been uh, prepared and been inventive once something happens, and we overca overcame that, uh, that challenge. Um, I think that's the, the, uh, the main uh, advantage of uh, human spaceflight. If it's unmanned, then you have some limitations. Mm -hmm. And if it's uh, a manned human spaceflight, then you do have some capability that no one really thought of. Mm -hmm. But you can do that real time. 